Okay, it's me again. Um, just a little video on my process of how I how I make um, an inline boot. Basically, this was the mold that I took off my foot. Uh, you can see I have quite a big foot. This is a size 10 and a half, 11. And as you can see, not both feet are the same. So basically what I do is I took the mold of the foot using a uh, plaster of Paris and then I basically take leather. Uh, my first model boot was material, normal uh, sort of upholstery material. But then, then later on I discovered, no, no, when I looked at some of the, uh, the boots that the, the, uh, the professionals are making, I saw that it was a nice type of material in some had leather, genuine leather upper side, so bought genuine leather. And then what I do is I stitch the leather around the mold like my foot. Well this is a normal shoe. This is my this will be my version four boot. And I stitch it very tightly along the, the shape of the boot. Then I stitch it together to make sure that it's tight and then I buy this, this is like a memory foam, it's a sticky memory foam. I buy it in a, in a I think this is a formal and then I can layer it as much as I want to. This is for the bottom of the foot to make it the memory foam, to make it soft um, so that it doesn't hurt you. So I take this whole piece and I stick it on the bottom so you can see it's st stuck onto this. I will now put some more layers on, depending on where I want. I must still put some on the side here, uh, depending where I want the padding to be, right? So once I've done this, I basically take carbon fiber, which I have in sheets. I'll show you what they look like. These are some off-cut sheets. So this will be a carbon fiber sheet, which I will cut out. I've got some patterns that I... I made of the shoes. You can see this will be the this will be a carbon fiber pattern. So I'm just going to put the carbon fiber one side. I'll show you. So um, I'll make a material pattern. This is the left foot, uh, right left foot, right. So this is the left foot. I basically take this. This is my pattern for the carbon fiber that's going to come across here. So the carbon fiber. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the carbon fiber to this shape and once carbon fiber has been cut to shape like this I'm going to put put it over the mold which is covered with the leather and the, the memory foam so I'll put this over like this like that and before obviously I put it over I'm gonna put a layer of epoxy uh, resin, the, the epoxy of the carbon fiber so that it can stick and then I will put the carbon fiber over this and just gently sort of rub it in. Now this is the critical process, I'm only going to put one layer on first. No, I like two layers. I'm going to put two layers on first and then I'm going to cover it with a plastic bag, normal, normal uh, dirt bag, black bag. I will cover it with a plastic bag and because I don't do vac vacuum forming I found a different way. I take a normal sock. You know a sock? Your normal shoe sock, sock that you wear and I, I first cover everything with a black bag and then I pull a sock over it. Like a sock. Uh, here's my socks somewhere. I've got a whole lot of socks here. So once I pull the sock over, you need to do, ah, just take an old sock. So the carbon fiber is wet now. It's got the resin on. And now you're going to put a black bag over it so that you don't get the sock full of resin. And you're going to pull the sock over, over the mold. So the sock is basically like you're holding the carbon fiber to shape right and then that I will leave overnight and it will it will cure once that is cured 
I will split it, open it to back here, flip it out, take my mold out, and uh, put carbon fiber back on to get the shape, to, to get the, the back closed again, and then I will sand it down. I will sand it and let it stand. Once it's sort of not, not completely smooth, just all the sharp edges away, then it will be ready for the mounting points to be mounted. Now that is a story, the mounting points is a story. Talking about these things here, these things, you, you don't want the frame to shoot loose while you are busy. So the mounting points, I bought a special structural epoxy for this expensive stuff. Uh, it's a two-part jobby to bond it, to bond aluminium to the carbon fiber. I will use these things, bond it to the bottom. Once that has settled, I will mold around it. Once that's settled, I will sand it down by hand, smooth. Once it's obviously now, I'll close these holes so that I put some plastic in here, so that they can be, uh, they won't allow any resin to go inside. And then I will put, I will strengthen the boot, many places with pieces, small pieces of carbon fiber. And around here, I will put uh, about three or four layers of carbon fiber. And I will sand it down. My last layer of carbon fiber will cover the whole boot, everything, and that's the layer that I, you get this finish with. So I'll sand it down until it's smooth. And once it's smooth, it will be, it will be ready for this final process. Just to show you, this is, this is a dupe that I'm making. So this is just, this is what, what it looks like in that phase. So, once that's been done, then comes the leather work. So the leather work, like this, this is quite a bit of, quite a bit of work. I just punched the holes for the laces, and this is the tongue that I just made. So the tongue's going to go inside, the laces, I'll probably put another uh, ratchet buckle across here, and then I'm ready to test it. And that is how... I make my, my inlaid boot. These are the patterns for the sides. You can see this is the pattern for the material on the side. Each one is four sides, obviously. And uh, very, very exciting stuff. This is, this is going to be, I mean, the quality and the feel I haven't spared. Nothing here is cheap stuff. It's all genuine leather. The cotton is really good stuff um, I'm not making it to sell it I'm making it for myself so yeah no expense spared in quality expense spared but not in quality and that is the birth of my version 3 hope you enjoyed that video and maybe inspire you to make your own thanks for watching